Is your heart constantly pounding, trying to escape the confines of your chest? Does the story not make sense at first, but comes together beautifully at the end? Plot twists, cliffhangers, and other literary devices at every corner? You must be watching a thriller movie. Nothing quite beats the edge of your seat adrenaline rush you get out of the suspense when watching these types of movies. Today we're going to be looking at the top 10 suspense thriller movies together, so strap in. Everyone told us and told us marriage is hard work. Not for me and Nick. At number 10, we have Gone Girl. Imagine this scenario. You've been married five years to a successful bombshell of a woman, the woman of your dreams, I must add. And it's your fifth year anniversary. Quite the milestone, isn't it? Except when you go home, only to find your drop-dead gorgeous wife missing. This film adaptation of Gillian Flynn's novel in 2012 tells the events of what happens afterwards. The way the story unfolds is truly a treat, and it's definitely one you'll have to check out for yourself. Will Nick Dunn's wife be found, or is the story destined for tragedy? Kill me. You ever hear the expression, the simplest answer is often the correct one? Actually, I've never found that to be true. Moving on to number 9, it's Get Out. Directed by one half of the comedy duo of Key and Peele, who knew they would make such an iconic and fresh horror movie? Granted, the movie may be classed as a completely different genre to fit this list, but it has all the key elements of a solid thriller. Even with some slight political undertones, this does not hinder the experience one bit, it actually adds to it in a way. It explores themes often left to the imagination in these types of movies and gives them their own flair. Bringing with it a chilling atmosphere and goosebump inducing imagery, the movie was a smash hit when it debuted in theaters two years ago, and it will remain a thriller slash horror classic for years to come. This is the murderer of the two teenagers last Christmas at Lake Herman and the girl on the 4th of July. I want you to print this cipher on the front page of your paper. In number 8, Zodiac. Some of the best thrillers are the ones based on real-life events, and Zodiac is a prime example. The film takes liberties with the 1970s Zodiac killer investigations that still remain unsolved to this day. It takes place in the San Francisco Bay Area, where all the grisly murders took place. The film follows a star-studded cast, including the likes of Robert Downey Jr. and Mark Ruffalo, who portray two of the central figures in the investigation, as they work to uncover the identity of the Zodiac through its cryptic messages and encoded ciphers. The movie employed innovative camera work and visual effects to bring the gruesome nature of the murders to life on the big screen. The film was highly praised by critics for its unique cinematography and sense of pace, a definite must-watch for serial killer enthusiasts and thriller lovers. Are you sure there's nobody else in the house? Welcome to Shutter Island. You're hereby required to surrender your firearms. We are duly appointed federal marshals. But during your stay, you will obey protocol. Let's get to number seven, and we have Shutter Island. One of many movies that prove Leonardo DiCaprio is more than just a heartthrob, this 2010 thriller based on the novel sees him as a U.S. Marshal investigating the disappearance of a mental health patient on Shutter Island. Directed by the brilliant Martin Scorsese, this thriller pulls out all the stops to bring audience towards a twist they may have seen a thousand times in movies. Some of you may have already figured it out or know it, so please don't spoil it. But it's so well paced towards and crafted that it feels like you're watching it for the very first time. Has he ever told you about his friend Frank, the giant bunny rabbit? The what? And now for a trip down the sci-fi lane with Donnie Darko at number 6. Probably the most unconventional thriller on this list, and one that started Jake Gyllenhaal's career as a prolific actor, this movie follows the life of Donnie Darko, a teenager whose life was forever changed when a jet engine mysteriously crashed into his bedroom one night when he spent it sleeping in the golf course. Shortly thereafter, he starts seeing visions of a dark creature. The movie borrows elements of science fiction that tie very well into the plot. Personally, I would recommend you watch the director's cut of the film, since it progresses the plot more expertly than the theatrical cut. With a tone that keeps you guessing at each point in the story, it's no wonder this movie gained a cult following years after its release in theaters back in 2001. We're just gonna stop. You should already know that. 27 men died on that pier for what looks to be $91 million worth of dope that wasn't there. We're now at number 5 with The Usual Suspects. Thrillers always delight in telling stories from different points in time, and this is something The Usual Suspects is always lauded for, as well as the stellar acting from its cast. 
the movie was a smash hit, garnering an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay and was met with rave reviews. Narration and flashbacks are the main literary devices this masterpiece tells the story with, and let me tell you, it's one you wouldn't want to miss if you haven't seen it. Whilst you might think it has a fairly simple plot, it all comes down together with all the layers upon layers of plot twists and surprises to keep your brain working on overdrive, more than doing homework does even. Seriously kids, do your homework. Well, I believe in God, and the only thing that scares me is Kaiser Soze. Do you like what you do for a living? These things you see. Let's move up the list to number 4 with a neo-noir winner, Seven. Seems like neo-noir movies make for the best thrillers, huh? Taking the concept of the seven deadly sins and turning them into an evil psycho killer is probably one of the simplest yet most effective plot devices. The plot follows two detectives, one of whom is retiring as they investigate murders inspired by these sins. The contrasting perspectives the young and old cop partners bring a sense of realism to how this duo of cops would work together in real life to contend with such gruesome and gory murders. If you haven't seen this one yet, you owe it to yourself to watch it as soon as possible. Have you ever seen anything like this? No. Here we have a quiet little motel, when in fact it has now become known as the scene of the crime. At number three, we have a true thriller classic in Psycho. Perhaps considered the godfather of thrillers, Psycho remains one of the absolute best and is seen as an inspiration to many filmmakers in this genre. Strangely, it took a different filming approach to Alfred Hitchcock's conventional suspense tales. Filmed in black and white, and given a low budget coat of paint, it's considered to be the first true form of the slasher genre of films. Even long after his death, the movie received countless sequels, a remake, homages, and many other forms of media that have adopted this masterpiece. She just goes a little mad sometimes. I have this condition, amnesia. No, 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 it's different from that. I have no short term. Since my injury, I can't make new memories. We're now at number two with Christopher Nolan's Memento. Perhaps best known for his work on Inception and the Dark Knight trilogy, Nolan had a little movie in the works back in the start of the 2000s. Following the bizarre trail of Polaroid photos and tattoos, a man with amnesia must uncover something in his past without forgetting who he is. The story is told in an astounding aesthetic, where black and white shots move the story forwards while colored shots take us back through time, both filling the voids in the story until we have a cohesive and complete picture of the series of events. You'll definitely be blown away by how awesome this movie is. I mean, come on, it's Christopher Nolan. That alone should make you want to watch it. Oh, where am I? I look up, I look down. I look up, I look... And finally, at number one, Vertigo. Remember when I mentioned Hitchcock before? Did you know that the man was hailed for being the master of suspense in all of cinema? Did you also know that Vertigo replaced Citizen Kane as the UK's top film of all time? Okay, enough with all the knowledge you may already know, but in all seriousness, Vertigo is just one of those movies that gets better every time you watch it. One time you think the suspense comes from the events of the movie, a second watch through could lead you to think it's the characters, and so on. It truly is the peak of thrillers, and one I can without a shadow of a doubt, highly recommend to you all. If I do what you tell me, love me? Yes. And that's all for today. So what do you think of my list? Let me know in the comments section below. Please like, share, and subscribe to the TV Regent, and hit the bell icon to never miss my new uploads. You can follow me on Twitter at TV Regent and Facebook too. Links in the description box below. Thanks for watching!